1.3 is equal to how many tenths? Well, we know that the digit before the decimal point tells us how many holes we have, and the digit after tells us how many tenths. So 1.3 is 1 and 3 tenths. But we can change our one hole into tenths. Remember, one hole is the same as 10 tenths. So if we have 10 tenths and then have another 3 tenths, we have 13 tenths altogether. Now for 1.7, we have one hole and 7 tenths, but one hole is the same as 10 tenths. So the one hole is 10 tenths. If we add 7 tenths, we have 17 tenths altogether. And now 2.8 means we have two holes and eight tenths, but we can change our two holes into tenths. Each hole is 10 tenths, so if we've got two holes, that's 20 tenths, plus another eight tenths, means we have 28 tenths altogether. And you can see from our answers here, that when we're changing a decimal into tenths, we can just look at the digits. So we have 1, 3, 13, 1, 7, 17, 2, 8, 28. Now we need to change improper fractions with tenths into decimals. If we have 19 tenths, we can make one hole from 10 of those tenths, and then we have another 9 tenths left over, so that's 1.9. And for 21 tenths, we can make two holes out of 20 tenths, and then we'll have one tenth left over, so that's 2.1. Finally, let's write the values of A, B and C on this number line. We have 0, 1 and 2 labelled, and between the whole numbers, we have 10 little lines so each of these lines must represent one tenth. For A, we have one, two, three lines, so that's three tenths, or 0 0.3. B is the seventh line after zero, so that's seven tenths, or 0 0.7. And then C comes after one, and it's one, two, three, four lines after one, so that's one and four tenths, or 1.4. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.